I'm back on Supercross 6, trying to get good, essentially, on a new track. Oh, it's not a good way to get good. I've already had some practice on this track. I clearly didn't do very much good, so I'm not doing very well. Everything's third gear. Oh, over jumps. I want to get the uh, the table, the table line. too wide. So one of the techniques to clearing these corners is to use the throttle to determine the line. Basically throw this stick to maximum steer because it has, um, oh, didn't clear that jump. It has a uh, lean help so that it doesn't over turn over lean the bike it's not going to lose the front end in the corners and then i just use the throttle to determine how wide the bike's going to go through the corners so i can kind of just slam it through the slam it on throttle in that berm there oh i didn't hit the berm so the bike went wide Going wide again. There we go. Oh, too wide. Or too much throttle, actually. following my own advice here. I keep over jumping that. We need to stay in tighter on the exit so I don't carry as much speed. Got the inside line here. That's the way to go. Over table. All right, see if I can, oh, didn't make the onto the table for that one. Hit the triple, hit the double. Third. Oh, I'm going too wide again. No, oh, I made it though. That's the line I want to take. So I'm used to cars, um, which is clear for my channel, um, where there's a several, but not varying, not too. Which, what am I trying to say? The racing line doesn't vary very much. Doesn't vary very much. So basically, the, you go from the outside on the entry, then you go to the inside on the apex, and then you go to the outside on the exit, and the lines vary from there. 
um, in motocross, because, or not just motocross, but supercross specifically, the lines aren't determined by the corner width, like on a circuit with cars. The lines are determined by how much speed is necessary for the next jump. So there, I don't need to go as fast because I want to keep the speed off the, the jump down. Stay in third. Some of these corners have a conventional racing line like this one. Pretty much normal. There we go. Almost over jumped that one. I'm just cross jumping everywhere. Oh, lost the rear end. So here, this would have a conventional line if I could actually control the bike. So let's stay in third, hope. Oh. That's the thing about Supercross, once you get one rhythm section off, it just throws the whole lap off. And you cross jump into the apex there. Oh, third gear. I'm running with auto clutch, and it's really helping with uh, preventing the bike from bogging. And I think nowadays it's pretty realistic to have what's called a recluse or an auto clutch like like device on motocross bikes. And the recluse is a specific brand, but it basically is a centrifugal clutch on top of the um, the manual clutch. And it does basically the same thing as the automatic clutch on this game. I'm gonna try the inside line here. See what that's like. Yeah, it's got a double double all the way through. There we go. 
need to learn how to do the whips and stuff. I don't know how to do that. Let's see if I can do one here. Something. Something happened. Ouch. Oh, it's supposed to be in third gear. Oh, I made it. Still not very quick, but my skills have come a long way from when I first started playing the game. Oh, almost went too wide. Actually, I did go too wide. the level where I can complete consistent laps, but I can't control the bike's line per with precision. So I'm pretty close. Make that triple in the middle there. Whoa. I'm specifically trying to take the um, the whoop section realistically. There's a wheelie technique. Whoa take the regular track regularly. Um, let's see. There's a wheelie technique that is kind of realistic. It's just that it's really easy to do in this game. It's not like difficult. Let's see what it looks like when I get to it. There we go. Oh. Here's the the uh, whoops. I'm, I'm gonna pull back both sticks, kind of wheelies, and it's it's super easy to do. It's not like a skill thing. annoying way of taking those triples. Not even in the right gear. 
Oh man. They need to fix the um, the weight transfer thing. Like if I if I turn, let's try it in this next turn. If I weight the outside peg in this turn here, it it did it. So maybe it's the throttle technique that I'm using. I'll try it in this turn. No, it's, it's sticking. Maybe it has to be a flat turn. Ooh, that would hurt. That works. Try here. Uh, it came off the top of the berm. Usually it slips out. When I weight the peg in the uh, outside direction instead of the inside direction. Oh. Can I do it here? Outside peg works. Huh. Oh, there. It just did it. I waited the outside peg, which technically I was still in the whoops, so it was using like air physics in that moment instead of ground physics. See if I can do a whip. Oh, I can't even tell if I did a whip. Trying to land in the turn on that corner, the 90 degree before the finish line jump. Whoa. I think it's probably a throttle thing that I'm doing, why it's slipping out. Oh, okay, I can't land with the uh, weight off. I have to land square and then shift the weight. Nope, there it goes. Shifting the outside peg isn't working. Definitely want to wait the inside thing. Third gear. See if I can jump into the corner. There's no grip. Trying to focus. Okay. No weight. Okay, weight in. Third gear. That's a good way to control the speed into there. Stay in fourth. Land square. And then shift the weight after landing. See if I can do it. Not too tight. Doesn't want to turn. Oh, on. Oops. 
I mean, it's got to build the muscle memory. this track so I'm gonna change tracks how many laps did I do uh, let's see return to Supercross Park I did I have a total time about a minute long 18 laps a little bit more than 18 minutes okay. 